as far as like men go because women are born to be loyal as far as like they can have one person uh-huh. they they one feeling for you know what i'm saying men kind of like be we was taught from four or five years old I how mean, many numbers can you get how many right. girlfriends can you get i seem like we was taught that right right they, they make the boys proud and make the girls shamed about it yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like i always feel like man just this is how we do All right, so I was going to curl up in bed and go to sleep, but Tori Kelly randomly texted me and was like, yo, I'm in New York too. Let's hang out. Um, I think she's out here with her husband. They just did a show or something like that. Or she just did a show. And uh, I haven't seen Tori in a long time. And it's like, yeah, I'm feeling a little sick, but <laughs> friends, you know? And it's the weekend of reunions, so it's like, got to do it. Gotta do it. <coughs> you guys, oh my gosh. It's, you oh did my that gosh. so quick. <laughs> what, a so what a treat. <laughs> what a treat. What a treat. What is going Look, look who's here. Guys, 10 years. Wow. We just realized we've known each other for 10 years. Wow. That's amazing. Reminiscing. That's amazing. And you know what's crazy he just is out his camera. the last time we linked up face to face was also randomly in New York. In New York. Wow. Here we are. I feel like you've changed your setup. Probably. It's a, be, it's a better camera. But that time it was with your mom. And do you yes. be on camera? Shout out to mom. Okay. And now it's with her husband. <laughs> she chose my camera. Her husband. I always ask. Oh, he loves me. Not nearly as pretty as your I mom. I always ask. Love you, mom. <laughs> Look at this hunky ass man she's with. Yo. <laughs> so, uh, of course, <laughs> I told her I was in bed, ready to sleep. I've been a little sick, but the fact that Tori Kelly hit me up to link up, we out here in New York, I feel I like... I in New York. Man. And here's the thing, I feel I like, know. you know, the universe and like, you know, just... Usually when I get in bed before I sleep, I, I get to the, the, the room immediately, I take a shower, I wash my genital butt region, and then I get comfy, right? This time, I was still dirty, so she hit me up, I was like, I think, it's, I, think I should go out and grab a drink with Tori Kelly. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> friends. New friends. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, so, um... It's time for me to check out in my hotel room, right? I think check out was like an hour ago. Here's a little secret though about hotels. You can kick it for like another like hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours after checkout time until someone comes knocking on the door. Cause like, they still gotta go through cleaning and all that. Most hotels, they're not gonna kick you out right at checkout time. Cause they gotta go through every single room, clean that. You know what I'm saying? See if that person's still there. So you can kick it for a bit. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to see how long I can just hang out here before they come like banging on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm comfy. I'm packed up. I'm ready to go. New Sen Foods just dropped. Oh, I'm good. I'm good to go, bro. I'm relaxing. So I got some time before my flight back to LA. And what a, what a pleasant surprise. The homegirl, uh, Natalia, aka Myverse, battle rapper extraordinaire and fashionista. You feel me? Just uh, with the beret. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I got the French with the tip. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, tip. oh, French tip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she uh, she happened to be in New York as well, so uh, she was like, let's get some lunch before the flight. I was like, cool, let's get it. Um, this spot is called Sweet Chick, if you had never heard of it, you know what I'm saying? Chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits. Uh, she didn't want to do the post egg. She doesn't like when the egg uh, busts all over everything. <laughs> I like it when it busts all over the place. I only like when yuca like that. So you can only have oh, yuca okay. Yuca. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Did you well, have hey, had yuca? I have had yuca before, yeah. Oh, well, you should have had yuca. You probably had like monkey brains. I'm cultured. Oh. I'm cultured. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, let's eat. That's all I ever know. Swear that oh my gosh, home sweet motherfucking home. I am back from New York and uh, <clears throat> got a little tingle in me trot, like I said, but you know, it was nice to catch up with Tori and her husband, who I, I've never really actually had to have a real conversation with. Good dude, good vibes. I would totally do a, a couple 
wife, husband, kick at night with them too. Because, you know, as I've mentioned before, my lovely wife, well, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but like, we're not a big fan of I like the spontaneous, like, the, let's go on a double date, you know what I'm saying? It's like most of the time, rather not. Rather not. Rather not. I don't like a lot of people. Yeah, same. And and that's why we get along so well. Um, so, but I was talking to Tori and her husband last night, and I told them, I was like, you know what, guys? I'm liking this vibe. And I told them, I was like, I'm going to tell Chia that I co-sign you guys for a future potential wife-husband double situation, babe. So, prepare yourself. Get ready for that. I really enjoy Tori. Yeah. Yeah, we've all hung out before. That was a long, long time ago, though. <coughs> so, uh, another. So, speaking of wife shit, what a privilege. Came to the house. It shit is smelling like home cooking. Um, <laughs> everything's in Tupperware right now because, you know, she cooked it a couple hours ago. But, your boy's hungry. Just got off this flight. And, uh, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. <clears throat> now I just gotta make sure and, uh, take some NyQuil for tomorrow because we gotta shoot some Send Foods. So hopefully I can, you know, not be sick. That would be great. But I'm probably gonna spend most of the night coughing in Chia's face, getting her sick. So it's lit! We'll sleep in the spare bedroom. <laughs> you know what? I probably will because like not only am I sick but also I'm like I'm congested so I'll probably be snoring like crazy um, and now what's happening to me is because of my snoring not only is it affecting her sleep but now I'm so paranoid about messing up her sleep that I'll wake up because I think I'm snoring too loud you know what I'm saying look you 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 Jedi mind tricked me now now I can't even sleep good but I don't sleep you don't sleep either I didn't get no sleep cuz of y'all Y'all not going to sleep because of me! Fine. I love you. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so shh. She is asleep. So, it's time to try and uh, get myself healthy because I got to shoot tomorrow. Well, do y'all have any like tips for how to um not, not be sick? Because usually I just drown myself in like orange juice and then take some vitamin C, some some NyQuil, knockout. I got a pretty decent immune system, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I hate being sick, dude. I fucking hate it. <sighs> as long as she goes to sleep before me, we good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when I knock out before her, I wake her up with my snoring and shit like that. When she goes to sleep before me, we good to go. She might fart in her sleep a little bit. It's okay. It's cute. They only stink when she's awake. When she's asleep, they don't be stinking. So yeah, anyways, do you guys have any like tips? Um, when I was growing up, my auntie always told me, got a sore throat, eat some fries, because the salt in the fries will help your throat. I don't know if that is true or if she just really like fries. Um, you know what I'm saying? Some people say, shout out tequila when you're getting sick. That'll help. You know, I'm always down for that. Class A Azul all day. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not trying to be sick because I still like, I got a lot of shit to shoot for the rest of the year. To close this year out strong. So, um, and then and then if you watch the last episode of the podcast, um, I tell Hitman Holla that I'm actually going back to wildin' out for a day because they're doing this whole like old like OG cast members versus new new cast members thing so I'm coming back as one of the OGs um for like a day to knock out a few episodes so I would like to be healthy for that <clears throat> so if you didn't know now you know good night Sriracha. With the sriracha? Hold up, stop. How you get here? Because I know you can't drive. Okay, we don't drive. It might be a crime, but at least when we get there, we get there on time. Get there on time. Hey, get it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. 
The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you, king shit.